Hey YouTube, it's Blue Sword here, and I'm going to show you how to make what I call a auto fire defense tower. And basically, it's used to defend an area. And it looks like this. Uh, I could probably make it look better later on, more symmetrical, but for now, it looks like this. And this is how it works you just turn this on, and it automatically fires whatever you put in there. Uh, snowballs, of course, will fire out or I'll, items that you put in there will just sort of fall out and you can put arrows and in this case I put snowballs and I'm going to show you how to make that right now. <laughs> Okay, so in order to make one of those defense towers, I'm going to use a basic building block and then I'm going to use some redstone material. We're going to use a redstone repeater, redstone the dust. You can use a button, but I chose a lever. A lever will stay on. A button will just click on and then click off. A sticky piston and a dispenser and your ammo and I'm using snowballs. So we just want to basically make a oh no fix tall building but the building structure needs to have a staircase leading upward made out of just blocks and here we go this is for the redstone dust to trail upwards and the reason why we're making it high up is to get good distance with your dispensers you can make a low one and what I really want to do is make different layers layer upon layer of different dispensers um, so that it spreads out evenly because with that one it just shoots in one direction or in four directions but uh, one level and if you have different levels of dispensers it'll shoot further away and cover a lot more area <clears throat> and I'll probably do that one with this you just do that idea with this tower here now here, let me show you an example so it'll if you have ex if you don't have experience with redstone dust this is how you trail it upwards there we go see how it's trailed on the side of the block and it goes higher and higher now you don't want to cut off the staircase like this. You don't want to connect corners if a redstone, if the redstone dust is connected um, to that, because if you connect these corners with these blocks, it'll cut it off. So let me show you. I'm sure you can see it right there, but just further, further the example. That bit of redstone dust is powered while it's disconnected. This block has disconnected the power from going any further. So if we hit this away, it reconnects and it trails upward. Now, I don't know, I might make it really high. So, <clears throat> uh, can I put a repeater right here? Does it, yep, nope. There we go, it does connect. So this is gonna help it trail a lot further up. And then I'll just continue it. And you can't continue it on on another level. I, no, you can. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's touching that block. That's probably what it is. So we'll just do that instead so we can have more, more air. There we go. Don't cut it off. And just continue. The, see, doing that with the repeater, though, cuts off the amount of... Uh, oh, no, it doesn't actually. I forgot. You can actually continue. Ah, you can cut that off because the repeater. See, I'm still learning certain things about it or re rehashing certain things that I used to know about it. So the repeater is being powered and it's touching this block and it's powering, I believe that's what's going on, it's powering this block. So since this redstone dust is on top of here, in fact you could probably go backwards instead of going in the same direction we've been going which is uh, counterclockwise. You can actually go backwards there we go, see? But we'll continue this way. And it's pretty high up. Let's just do one more layer. Oh, that's good enough. 
Now let's cut it off. Let's just, oh, let's just make that, I keep doing that. Let's just make this the level right here. And then we sort of make a platform. And this is going to be where we place all the dispensers. Now the way we place the dispensers, uh, it's based off of how the redstone dust um, reacts with the dispensers and how it's able to. I'm sure there's other ways to react, uh, connect redstone to dispensers or power dispensers, but this is just the basic use of redstone. And in order to power a dispenser, it has to touch it like this. It can, it can come in from the side like this, but it has to basically touch it. It has to go forward into it. It can't, oh, whoops. It can't be one of these corners here because it's not touching it for some reason. I mean, it, it should be able to, but it just does not do that. So if we, if we do it like this, it's not going to be powered show a little example of that. So right now if I turn this off and then I turn it on, a snowball shouldn't fly out of it and it did not. Nope. So in order to fix that or oh that just happened. That just happened. Boom. There's another one and that works because that's facing forward. It's connecting directly to it. It can't touch a, a little elbow, a little joint redstone. So we're going to, that's base, that's how the uh, dispensers are, that's how we place our dispensers based off of how the redstone reacts with them. So I'm trying to think if I can place one here. I basically have to pull it from here or pull it from here, but there's no way for it to, see? So, because of that, I'll have to place a dispenser here, because I know that if I put redstone dust right here, it'll connect perfectly. And same goes with this. It'll connect like so. Now, I can definitely expand the platform in order to add more, uh, add more dispensers to it. Uh, but this is just an example, and I'm probably going to build on top of this and or at least try to build on top of this, so I don't think it really matters too much about how my how much repeaters I have on the first level, but I do want to put some on this side, so I'm gonna have to expand it. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep trying to put as much as I can. I can go here, and I can connect it to this. It's gonna look a little off, but we can square it up later on. Or I can come up with a better design later on. And boom. There we go. There's another one. And with this elbow, I might have to expand this too. We're going to put another one right here. And probably another one right here. And this should connect it. Yep. And then one more. Yeah, one more in this direction. So what is that? Two two for each side. Oh, it looks perfect. It looks better than the first one I made. Oh, wow. But it's a little off from the tower itself, which is okay. It doesn't matter. We can definitely... We're going to be covering this all up later on, too, so we don't... We're not exposed. And probably put this lever somewhere higher, like here, eye level. <clears throat> well, there you go. Now you just got to fill it with all these... Uh, with a lot of snowballs. Oh no, I completely forgot the automatic part of it, the most important part that makes this uh, makes this tower so special. And you can probably, you might be able to figure out what, what that is, It's um, but I'll show you just in case. That actually has to do with what I already talked about, and that's cutting off, that's cutting off part of the the redstone trail, so I might need some of that too. Now what I did was, for the other tower, what I did to make it automatic was put a sticky piston, oh, it's already active. I put a sticky piston um, right, right around the trail of the redstone dust, and 
I attach to the sticky piston just the block, any block, and what happens is it cuts off. See, it, it activated it. So when I add this extra block, it cuts off the, the trail of redstone dust and it turns it off right away. And when it turns it off right away, it, uh, it closes up the piston. It retracts the, the piston, which lets the power through again, and it activates the piston. So it does this very fast. I'll show you. There we go. So it's... Oh, let me get out of the way. I wonder if it broke it. Did it break it? Oh, it didn't. It's just you can't see it, I guess. Hmm. I wonder if... Uh... Let's see, maybe I'm doing something wrong. It should be working. Is it going too fast? Is it... Hmm. What's going on? Let's turn this off for a second and see if the block is even still there. It is still there. So what should happen is the sticky piston should shoot out the block, cut off this. Okay, so I took another nap, and well, before I took a nap, I, f I figured out what was going on, and I did this last time, uh, the first, sorry, the first time I made this one, and I can't believe I forgot, but good thing I remembered. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why it does this, but I was putting it way too low. Which, I don't think it should make a difference, but it, I guess it made the difference in this one. Uh, so I put it up a little higher, and with less blocks. And so it's just one nice straight tower, so I can just cover it up evenly. Um, but it should do the trick now. Let's see what it does. No. It's, I think the block got stuck here. So let's... It's supposed to be doing this, but I guess if you turn it off at the wrong... There you go. It's rapidly firing. This is what makes it the rapid fire. Um, what's sad about it, though, is that if you turn it off at the wrong time, I guess it leaves the block. I turn it off at the right time. It. I'm sure there's a way to fix that, too, with some sort of circuitry. But for basic uses, I don't mind too much on, on that. Um, but there you go. You've got your redstone dust that leads up to the top, the automatic part of the uh, the tower, which cuts off the power and then reconnects it in an instant, and because of that, it activates the dispensers um, rapidly. I mean, the redstone dust doesn't even give it justice right there. It, it's doing a lot faster than that. Let me turn this off. I'm going to fill these all up with snowballs, and we're just going to see it go at it. Oh, fly, fly. Okay, there we go. So let's get rid of these, fill all these up right here. We'll just put one in each, probably. A couple or not, just one, just to see it go. Maybe some arrows in some of them. There we go. Maybe put some rocks inside some of the snowballs just so that they don't see it coming. You're terrible. There we go, and I think this one's good. Here we go, let's see it go. Mm -hmm. Ugh, ugh. Oh my god. Alright, let's turn it off and I'm gonna make another layer and see this uh see this go even higher and with more ammo. And I'll probably have to find a way to trail it upwards here. Mm -hmm. That should be it. There we go. Each one is filled. Honestly it's exciting. Let's see how it goes. Bunch of snowballs everywhere. Oh man. No! Oh, you know what? I, I forgot that sticky piston there. You have to give him a, a block to work with, and it should be ready. Oh, I gotta zoom out real quick, or slowly. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, there's only 16 in each one. All right, just getting finished up with filling up each dispenser as, as much as I could. Some of them have odd objects or odd items that I put in there instead of snowballs, but each one should be filled to capacity. I'm going to shoot this thing off and uh, finish up this video here. And there we go. Boom. This is something that you can hopefully make. Uh, if you need any help, let me know. But uh, it's, it's a very basic system of redstone, repeaters, dispensers. Um, the most important thing is the... Uh, sticky piston that has 
the block attached to it that cuts off the, the trail of redstone power. There it goes. Look at that. It's still going. Imagine a bunch of these. Boom, 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 boom. I hope you like this video. It was very fun to make this, and I hope I can put more into this later on, and hopefully this has inspired you to make a, uh, something out of this, too, because I don't, I don't really see this around. Uh, maybe some already made one, but... Oh, there goes the odd items. Yeah. Also, remember to put the sticky piston up uh, high. For some reason, it doesn't do it when it's low. It shouldn't make a difference. I don't know why it does that. It might just be something that I'm doing. Um, wow, it's still going. Oh, it's probably because it's got 64 count. Use arrows instead of snowballs because uh, there's 64 count. If you have, if you max out the arrows, it's 64. And if you max out snowballs, it's just 16. There you go. And that'll last a lot longer than than snowballs. They just they just go out. So that's it for this one. The uh, auto fire defense tower. And uh, hopefully you liked it. Um, if you do, like, comment, subscribe, or just keep watching. And I'll see you guys later.